Alright, well, let's continue Paper Mario. I wanted to find Luigi last time, but I couldn't figure out where he was. I wanted to hear more of his story. But I didn't spot him around town. Um, the next star is to see, so... I think it was sending me to the, the bar. I can't remember. We'll figure it out. Okay, never mind. Thought it might have been. I mean, excuse me for thinking it's that dude. Thought for sure. Seems to fit the bill. Oh, there he is. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spirits. It was pretty exciting, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. More bad Luigi voice. <laughs> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Frank Island, we had this incredible racket. We soon found out that they had... They hold kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the race track, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy they give to the winner, it was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was to enter the race. I mean, I'd driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The cats were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I've got one of the best cats, the big green old one. I took my position at the start line. The light went green. I stomped the accelerator. And something bad happened. I was in reverse. The big green old one went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me. Hard enough to cut me off mid-screen. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cards crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got into gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards just a first town in the east. Then I heard the voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogport. That's what's been up with me. Want to hear something else? Good God, no. Alright. <laughs> but I have to keep up with the Luigi story. Yeah, I'm talking. I And don't go for a second thing. Ugh, I can't read. I am talk and don't go for a second think. This dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. 
And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, and yes, freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Ah. What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Probably thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on the mountain, shivering to death. Ha, ah, no, foolish Flavio, not chills, you silly man. What a need of thrills. Wait, hold the horses, that's it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me, a hunt for a pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills, and emotion, and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Keelhole Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King, Cortez, hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh. The horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Ugh. It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keelhole Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes. And I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader, extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is it that you are saying? Talk of a legendary treasure here beneath Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot believe in each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, uh, hand it over. Rather, I, I, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keelhole Key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure from out, out from under me. You awful, awful man. Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. But now that I am thinking... A star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keelhole Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate, foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes! And you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. What's with the skull? Alright. This is gonna be one of these dudes that, like, just runs away and hides and then says, Ah, yes, of course, I meant to do that. I was merely repositioning our party. Coming up with a strategic place to strike from. But seems like you have it all in order. I, I guess my services won't be necessary. 
something like that. Ah, yes, so it is you. Ah, well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She's a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among the sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Huh? Yes? Did you speak? Yes, y yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, uh, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know? Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Keel Hall Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, uh, how you say, a, uh, pickle. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't tease me, Perpatch. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Uh, well, sir, I, I heard of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in uh, Ragport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he's said to have uh, the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Bassa boom! Problem solved! Let us scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle the negotiations. That it, that uh, would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Yes, yeah, I, f I figured. Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. All right. If this was, a, like, a movie or voice actor, I would want that dude from the IT crowd to, uh, to voice that guy, you know? It's, like, that kind of personality, that kind of energy. Matt Berry, I think, is the guy's... the actor's name. Just like, does a good pompous ass hat voice. He's like Admiral Bobbery. Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. That's him. So we have to convince him somehow. Fair <laughs> bomb blowing up is like throwing a punch for an ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you got to do it with perfect timing. Me mum said that once you learn that time and you're finally an adult bob -omb. Ah, mum.
Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long lost love. Yes, I'm speaking of the extraordinary beauty at the juice shop in Glitzville. No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid attention to me in the slightest. Paraphrasing. <laughs> I'd be doing that a lot. I figured it'd be him, but... I guess we gotta convince him somehow. Oh, that's funny. He can smell the pigs on me. Uh, I'm gonna check the lottery results while I'm here. I'm just gonna stick to my number. Cause it's like, what what is changing a number gonna do, really? Oh, I did find a cookbook. Hang on, I might pop in here because I bet it's gonna have a result in this. Hey, Mr. Contact Smusher, listen to this. I've got the lowdown on the book that can turn anyone into a master chef. I went to the trouble center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks out, you ought to swing by there. I'll reward you. But anyway. Oh, but I found the book. I already found it. This is just to make these mushrooms more useful. I appreciate that she washes the mushroom. Extra detail. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. I'm kind of curious, like what she would do to the hot dog. But then I'm worried it might revert to some other item or just not come out as a good dish. Let's go see what Frankly has to say. Barbary? That old sea dog just lives to the right of my house, and if you're facing the front. They say he was a great important sailor long ago. Okay, so it is him. Admiral Bobbery. I haven't the faintest idea who you're talking about now, if you please. Please don't assault us. We already know you're the Admiral, so just admit it. Um, what, Poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the seas nevermore. But maybe you don't understand how important this is. We need you. Without you, we'll never get to kill Hulk Key. Awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no! Okay. What happened to him? What do you think, Mario? Nothing we say seems enough to convince this man. But don't you find it odd? Why would a sailor have such a hatred for the sea? We need answers. Maybe we should ask around town about this man's history. 
When I've got a question about something, I tend to ask that Frankly guy. He's an important professor, so he knows a lot of junk. If you ever need help with anything, you should ask that guy, definitely. Admiral Bobbery won't go to sea. That's a setback. Eh. Yeah. I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podly knows a thing or two. Who's Podly? Podly? Let's take a stab in the dark. Uh, you say Bobbery won't go to see her? Well, can't say, that surprises me. The real question is, uh, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is, is that it? I, now I see, uh, you want to mount an expedition to kill Hawkey. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Okay. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of words goes something like this. He's gonna fall asleep, isn't he? Bobbery was once married. He had a life of enduring beauty named Scott. Wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. I can't read anymore. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery. His eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they live, lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her back to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, they tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He was never gone out to sea since. Or he has never gone out to sea since. I can't read. <laughs> I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yeah, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. The letter that Scarlet... Why does he have it? I have... On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your very hands. Why I have it? Uh... I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague and my love, if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so that he may hear my voice. It was a last request and I chose not to respect it until now. But when I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget <laughs> the pain as he mourned, I'm sorry. <laughs> like... He's hung on to this this entire time. It's uh, what? A, the, how does this make sense? The the final wish was if Bobbery was blaming himself and was in misery to give him the letter. So this dude decided, nah, he's in misery. I'm not going to give him the letter and just let him endure his suffering. 
I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I regret it. Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thank you so much, Podly. We'll deliver the letter. Don't worry. Ready, Mario? He's hung on to this letter. Like the exact situation that... That she wanted to prevent, this dude just was like, nah. What? Oh, Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? The letter you say for, for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you are reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time. Like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. <laughs> a, a, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then! You were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keelhole Key. Oh, yeah. huh. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, wonderful. The ship's in the harbour, huh? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yeah, man, like pulling at the heartstrings there. Way more serious in tone than like any other Mario franchise. Hold on. What was this email? Hi Mario, how are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you busy? Are you going someplace far away, like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have the time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You okay. You have to promise. Why is the photo of her with an egg? <laughs> Must have missed something there. Right, fair weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect day to set sail, if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit if the whole journey blew in as fair as today. No siri, Bob. 
I knew you would get Bobbery on board, you wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Okay. Very well. To the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And romance. And money. Our destination is dread. Kill Hall Key. Who said wait up? I don't know who said wait up. This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by infiltration successful. X not black aboard best vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. All right. Month, star, day X zero. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. Month star day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Month star, day X musical note. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze, Red Jewel shines and plays. Boom Bassa Boom Festival! The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the Boom Bassa Boom Festival! <laughs> yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh ho ho ho! I feel fabulous, yes. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smile, for I knew I would prevail. I had the beast licked. For I am Flavio. He was giant, massive, a huge drink of man-eater. But even now, you know, I could take him. Yes, uh... Where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, but even then I smiled. Great, he started again. A tale of bravery, right. I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it too. Ah, uh, why is that? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Boy, Master Flavio, I'm awfully sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Uh... 
Ah? Stopped? You say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm. So, take care of it. Uh, I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you, I am not so a rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving there. Eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. <laughs> They're here. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? <laughs> no, no, they're upon us, the pi 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 pirate ghosts. All oh, them rumors were true. Wow, what, what, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Ah! Do, do, do not panic yourselves. This is just a, a, a dream that we are all having. Awake. Now, quick, quick, quickly, m m move the bo boat. Oh, a uh, ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Uh, 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 help! Me! Fuck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, I say. Relax! You simply must take it easy. Uh, what? Bobbery! No! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line without shoving right after... Ah! Yeah, I wonder who the bad guy was. Wow! Ah, we must get out of here! Abandoned ship! Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself! Month, star, days, X, star. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island, Keelhaw Key, was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King. That ghostly thing. What happens to us now? Ah. We may be lost without hope. Stricken in the wilds. Month star. Day X love heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floatsome. Washed in. And now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea. But then what? I ask. Month star, day... Zero... Zero. Or O oh, O, oh, depending on... It's probably O oh, O. Oh. <laughs> we have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, 
Poor SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Bobbery and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Month star, day zero OX. Three days on the aisle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Oi, Captain Stash. It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. On. Okay, <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> Captain, please help us. Flavio and Papatch are uh, in a huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You are the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did, did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Fancy pants. Why, you little Cyclops, Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Boy, that's right fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. They're here! And Captain Stash, them ghosts are back. Uh, Mario, uh, front and center, this is an uh, order. Take care of those ghosts. I hope. I don't know, could, could we have not done this sooner? I guess we were outnumbered back then. All right, battle time. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap, there we go. That's an ember. A uh, sort of pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP 8, attack 3, defense 0. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Here's another thing you should know. Something horrible is likely to happen if you attack it with fire. Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though. So that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so guard well. Yeah, so we couldn't use Vivian. Yeah. You know what? Wait, what's Art Attack? I don't want to risk it learning a new attack. It probably does more damage, but let's just go with F Tremor. Though they are technically in the air, I'm hoping it'll do something. Uh-oh. Man, I've got a 
fucking gods off. Um, I guess it has to be Coops. They're good to fight, they seem to give a bit of XP at the moment. Yes! You're a bloomin' beast, Captain Stash! Too early to celebrate, no? There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island, yes. That is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this... I brook no argument. Ah, yes, of course. Mario, perhaps you can handle the exploration of this island? Alright. That is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. Yep. Figured. This a Bowser. What is this Bowser item? Summons a scary spirit that may chase enemies away. Interesting. Are you gonna charge me? Hi, this may not look like much, but we're very proud of our seaside shanty. <laughs> That's robbery given. But a hotel back in town costs the same. That's what happens when you have a monopoly on the hotel business. I'm surprised I wasn't there. Well, if we're going to be running into ghosts, I guess Coops is the best one for this job. Or not, it's more of these things. Ha! Mango. Uh oh. Well, that's not cool. I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. Let's just fight. Oh, it's a badge. Let's just fight this thing first. I was lucky. I'm surprised that worked. These are new as well. Oh wait, no they're not. Never mind. We got them.
Oh, these things are annoying. Stop! <laughs> Taking all my my power. I feel like Pontus probably would have been better here. Oh, okay. Um, since this is gonna end anyway, let's just do this. Good. Ah, look, whatever. As long as I got some plow points back. Alright, finish him, Vivian. It's fine. It doesn't need to be time. At least they're good for experience. Mango, no! Oh! Like, this, the mango is better technically, so that's fine. Stop! <laughs> Why is there such a low amount of items you can carry? I got that in the original, sure. But quality of life, like, let me carry more items. a pond. I'm kind of afraid to just shake more trees because it's going to be items that I can't hold. Yeah, we're not gonna waste time here. Let me learn this attack. What is it? Draw a circle around the enemy as many times as you can. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. I could have done better. Alright, now I get how it works. It's not too bad. Uh... Nah. Times are tough. How did that miss? Tattle. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That is totally sickly. That color is totally sickly. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, defense is 0. It bites and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint, table 4. If you get poison, your HP will slowly go down. So, you know, try not to. Um, we have items. Let's use it. Oh, there's mist on the field now. Oh 
she's <laughs> poor. Oh man, she. It's okay. Replenish health. Yeah, I mean, look at this point. Let's just do that. It missed. Are you kidding? That's nice. Okay, um... Get Quake Hammer. <laughs> oh no. I, I, I blocked it, I guess. I have to swap her out. This dumb fog of war. Okay, thank you. Um. Oh, I got it. Well, that's nice. Holy crap, that recovered everything. Alright, Ponus, do it. Oh, crap. I released too early. flower points. <laughs> Things are starting to get expensive from a spell perspective. Okay, now I can hit trees. I bet at some point one of them is going to release an enemy. I can just see it already. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, got out attack. I need to practice this more. It's actually pretty decent. Can't carry any more items. I mean, this is only worth. Eh, fine. Oops. 
Ah. Okay, blessing in disguise. And I thought I could just make it across. Okay, that's nice. Um, that's kind of good. Oh, what do I get rid of? Um... Yeah, I mean, look, the coupon, it's like, eh. It's only gonna save me 10 coins. It's fine. The ends aren't as useful, really. Because there's those boxes that kill you, that are kind of scattered ac appropriately across the chapter, so. These cursed ghosts blast it all. I don't know whose voice this is. Oh. By Blubberies Blotches. Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy. Right, you just came in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. Yeah, but what about you, Admiral? You've got to get out of here, too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Lee, that's an order. Let me do what I must do. Now away with you! Ah! Well, Barbary here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? What? No. Go back. <laughs> oh, Barbary, please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. <laughs> Go on, yeah. Excuse me, but I'd better be going also. <laughs> and hey, you out there looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario or else. Yeah, well. Looking at the screen? Has that guy lost it or what? <laughs> Fourth wall breaks constantly. Oh, God, I just got rid of one of these. What stats? I heard you lost your coupon. No worries. Have another. <laughs> what 
What what is what is its description? Fruit from a tropical island. To be honest, it ain't tasty. Lies. Lies and slander. There's gotta be a use for this, I guess. Mistakes were made. This is the thing, I gotta be using items constantly. Wait, but why am I getting this? Like, I don't have room for it. <laughs> Just leave it. Ugh. Ugh. So this is how the legend of the sea meets his end, huh? Look, we have items waiting. Thunder! Get him, Ponus. of it all. Oh, Mario, old boy. Uh, 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 uh. I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there is one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chicola Cola. I was saving that one bottle. My last memory was Scarlet. To celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the floatsome drifting toward the island, so it must be here somewhere. If I might just have one sip before my final- <laughs> Ugh. Get me that Chocola Cola, old boy. That's appeared in multiple games, hasn't it? Wasn't that in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga? I feel like it was. I think they went to the factory of where it was made. That's kind of neat that it references that. Given to different series. Yeah, good. Good work. Guess we gotta look for it. Oh, that was dumb. Um, I guess Quake.
<laughs> Always failed. I think I've only got on it a couple times. Alright, Ponus has got this. Didn't get an enemy directly behind it. Okay, well now we have to swap. Alright, Vivian, you're up. Me through. Too much fighting. I'll stay at the inn. Gee, if only I had an inn pass. You are still alive. Well, we have some fortune left. Such a relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Now, wait one moment. Am I wrong or are we still one shot? <laughs> That's right. Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from ghosts. Please, we've got to go back and help him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes. By the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish? And he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so what we are dealing with uh, here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, uh, uh, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So we will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Hmm, yes. I'm sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. I already found it. So what will you give me in exchange for this delectable Chocola Cola, hmm? Make it good. I am the editor of Foppish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. 
Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fair, but somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for a foraging non gormand such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give the regards to the Admiral. My regards to the Admiral. Oh-ho. Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all of the fine busyness. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that language confirms it. A bit of pretentiousness. Oh, damn it. He's trying to... Let's go. Our flower points are restored. Um, let's go quake. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> Low battery chat. <laughs> Let's see how long it lasts. USB-C cables. Not that it's imminent, but you know. My headset has conditioned me to deal with low batteries right away. <laughs> my headset complains if I don't. Alright, we're good. You have 10% remaining on your battery. I am going to beep every three seconds until you address this issue. Despite 10% meaning this headset could probably last another hour without no further action. This, this one's annoying. We need to do that. I don't think I got first strike, somehow. Okay, um... Honest, do the gulp. And now... It's worth it for the XP. Doesn't matter how many years pass, I'm just horrendous at trampolines. Get him, Ponis.
I mean, I guess that's fine. Thankfully, it was still there. Mm -hmm. Ah, that distinctive bouquet. You. You've brought it. Ah, oh, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. He just fell asleep. Hey, Gonzalez! I think baby Bobbery's just sleeping. Yeah. He is! And here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up whack. Yummy, yummy, pirates! Where are those pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, old boy, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. Hey, you're still alive, you bozo. Ah, uh, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, right. Now I recall Mario, old boy. We still have work to do. You'd better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Oh, damn, okay. Oh, okay, so... Uses explosions to destroy cracked rocks. Cool. Well, there's been a bunch of stuff like this that I haven't been able to do. Proper aim, you can even toss them up higher elevations. Oh. If he hasn't exploded, you can press X to trigger this explosion right away. That's cool. I bet we can start fights that way too. While in battle, you can attack enemies on the ground with bomb. You can also use Bomb Squad to toss out bombs that will explode when following turn ends. Just for the flower points primarily. Let's say. I say, this rock looks like a fiendish grinning skull, and there's a spot you could insert something. I feel a, uh, I've se <laughs> I feel certain I've seen something the same shape as this indentation, but I can't bring my mind to it. Blast. Coconut? Okay, that has no effect. One can hope. Wait, can he fetch stuff? Oops. <laughs> kind of threw him to the sharks. Well, at least it's not like Bobby from, um, from Origami King. He's going to stick around longer than Bobby did.
Of course not. Why would you be allowed to carry a key item, eh? I don't know. Shape of anything we've seen. Oh. No, I know what. It's uh well, we need to ditch this fact not. I know what it is. That's useful. Um... How am I gonna do this? Yeah, do this. Hang on. Do the special. one. It's alright. We'll get the job done. And then... It's up to Ponis. This has a lot of backtracking in it. You can always run. Run, Ponis, run! Ah, it is Bobbery. Welcome back, you two. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard that is for me? To sit here in safety and worry so much. I do not know what is out there. Waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home, for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flav- oh, Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence, gah! I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to. So, in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. <laughs> hey, Bobbery, you want to know what really smells suspicious? Flavia's armpit. 
Oh boy. Smells like low tie. Wahahaha, <laughs> but seriously. You may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but, you know. Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, uh... Yes, uh, Admiral, you see, I, uh... Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes. Take him, please. Have fun, jerk. Off with you. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square. Uh, what? Um, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. <laughs> the music. Oh, you're kidding. I guess we should go with the intended lineup, eh? swing didn't land. Uh, I mean, we're close to leveling up, so let's just do it. Hey, Luigi's in the audience. You can see him. What is he doing? Isn't he off rescuing his princess in his own story? swapped upon us. Just for this fight, more useful, you know? Look at how strong Ponus is. May as well. Oh, 
Okay. Ah! Now what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with its dead endedness? But hmm, is this? I think this is the Skull Rock Bobbery blabbered about. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let us plunge into this puzzle. Hey. Skull Captain casts his gaze, Red Jewel shines and plays. Boom Bassa Boom Festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red, Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly, four times is whacked. Let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the Boom Bossa Boom Festival. I'm just singing to while away the time. It is not like Flavia was scared or anything. But do you know something? I have never been able to know the song's meaning. I say this rock looks like a fiendish green and skull, and there's a spot you can insert something. Mario, old boy, I got a gut feeling that Flavio's gem might fit in that eye hole. Yeah, give me the gem. That's what I was trying to get out of him. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is this correct? Now, what could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? What? You want me to lend you the Skull Gem? You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the House of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright because I am Flavio. He of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. All right. What was the song again? Three times red, four times blue. I think where I messed up was I should have done the pound instead of the hammer. The game got annoyed at me because I was doing the wrong thing. Ho ho ho, got it. There's like a heal point here anyway. Um Bomb's gonna go off. There we go. 
All right, level up anyway. timing. Alright, um... One. Two. Three. One, two, three, four. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Huh? Hmm? What? Huh? Ah! Oh, my skull gem! M M Mario! What were you thinking? That gem was part of the house of Flavio! Phew! Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry me about- worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Month star day of musical notes. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the pirate treasure? <laughs> I tremble with anticipation. Pirate king's treasure, but yeah. You cannot carry any more items. Tattle. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Max HP six, attack four, defense zero. HP and attack power may be different from an embers, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, because it'll burn you. And whatever you do, make sure you don't attack it with fire, I mean it. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Curious if, like, Luigi being in the audience is a special event. if he does anything special. 
when he's in the audience. But I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, no, never mind. It's fine. Uh oh, that's a lot of them. No, we're doing Earthquake here. Yeah. Definitely warrants it. But you know, Art Attack. That'll get rid of him. Earthquake won't do enough. Oh no! All right, it's already enough. Come on, even still. <laughs> That's not going to make it. Ah, come on. No. That should not have taken as much time as it did. That was... that was good. Good, well done. That's a bullet bill. It attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Max HP 2, attack 4, defense 1. Take care of it quickly, it'll totally wail into you, mosh pit style. <laughs> it has a tear in its eye. Oh, see, now I can fight the launchers. That's a bill blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bills. Max HP 5, defense 2. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but just take out the bill blaster first. Trust me. Ah, how many of these things will shoot at us? You're so annoying! I'm just thinking if I can use an item here. Yeah, I mean, it's probably worth it. Oh, that was, that was good. Good timing. Well done. Excellent use of skills. Yeah. It's going for 
the normal bonk. Oh no! Wrong enemy! Suppose it's fine. Uh oh. Do this so then I can use piercing blow. No armor. There we go. Problem solved. What is this then? Oh, it's just a jump. Well done. I s still need him though. <laughs> hey, there's a hole in this gizmo. I bet there's an item that perfectly fits in here too. Round of fur. Bow. Oh, this can't be good. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob but it's huge! Okay. It's weird. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind itself taking out... I don't mind taking itself out of this battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Uh, when it powers up... Oh, jeez. Attack power of eight. Fire and explosions will make them blow up immediately, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Um, so here's a tactic. We're gonna run and then come back. I see. Okay, then avoid these things like the plague. Got it. Lesson learnt. Seems to be giving me a lot of these. How would I possibly get this one? Oh. Convenient. Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to preemptive strike it that way. We haven't identified these, have we? Alright, well first let's get him on... get one on the ground. And 
now we can title this one. That's a Parabuzzy, a Buzzy Beetle with wings. Max HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. I guess those stats are just like a Buzzy. Fire and explosion seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? If you flip it over, its defense goes to zero, so jump on it first. Okay, uh... Do this first. That's lucky. Oh, it didn't do anything. Never mind. Because it was on its, uh... It wasn't on its back. Go away. undo the bomb thing, though. Wait, why? Hold on, is there something behind me? Turn back! Ooh, go no further or you will never leave! Never mind. things. They're just gonna drain my health otherwise. Got it. I see. That is important. This is probably more important. I'll do it again, it's fine. Nope. 
Bye. Not happening. It's just always a negative thing fighting those things. One XP? No, thank you. I'm good. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, I still haven't quite figured out how to get this. Like these ones that are on sort of high ground. Oh. Okay, well. Now I know. Just in case. Okay, good. Been playing platformer since the age of five, yeah. Age of four, probably. Unfortunately, that means I gotta swap now. I have learnt. I didn't attack my fan this time. I think I got how to do the last one is like you just pretty much spam the button and it seems to work. Look at this, finally.
<laughs> Not even worth XP. Oh, well. It's not gonna do anything, I don't think. Yeah, didn't think so. Ignore that defense. Oh, that is very useful. Okay, do it. It's good positioning. Surprised that hit. Yeah. Uh, it's not a bad ability. I guess for something that's tankier, it's decent. And this AoE. Oh good, this again. <laughs> Stylish did zero! Dodged it, nice. Um, eh, that's annoying. So I got no choice. They got the ground one first. to delay the player. Well, I was kidding, but that's what it's doing. Um... This is... Oh my god. This is wise, right? And then I hate to poke I hate to poke the bear, but I'm going to poke the bear. No, keep it. Sorry. Mario doesn't take any damage here. Yes. 
It's alright. It's uh, should be used to the explosions. They're a bomb. this point, um, let's eat a mango. I probably should have give, given that to the partner, it's okay. I don't have the key though. Have a look around. I don't see anywhere else it could be. Alright, let's just interact with it. York! Oh, sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come, I had given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already. Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can you, can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked in here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh, all I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No? Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It Already. Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on, now I'm waiting. Oh, like... How did I... Doesn't matter. Just get it over with. Partner, honest. Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo You got the key, party time. All right, n let me out already. All right, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem. Way. Fools. You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I am so evil. Bathe in the foul, awful. Uh, wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy, be cursed! 
Hey, <laughs> now you're cursed. But good. Suffer. 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 Wait. Ah, that's maybe too much. Are you all right? That didn't really hurt, did it? <laughs> hey, good. Good. Squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of those boat panels, the panel will feel your curse and glow. Yes, stand here, slime. Feel the pain. And press Y and become a paper boat. <laughs> yes! Such suffering! Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. <laughs> you float on water. People will laugh at you. You'll be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry, it's not too bad. You can control your paper boat self with L. I will allow you to be the master of your shameful buoyancy. When you unboat yourself, approach the panel and press Y. Try it now. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen, thanks for letting me do my thing. I, I feel better. You know, that cursed dude ain't half bad. Obviously, I'm going to immediately go behind me. Huh. Kind of half expected there to be something. Yeah, see? Like that. A reward the player for exploration. Oh, come on! I'm running. These things are a waste of time. Oh, I can't flee this fight, you're saying. Okay, um, pawn us first. Well, that's just fortunate. gonna do about this
All right, that worked out. I love how she's just standing on the, <laughs> the platform to show me. a little too far. Yes, please. Oh, man, I need this. I've seen a panel for both. I think there was one on top of the big waterfall. Okay. If you say so. I thought there was one on low ground, but I might have confused it. That's a good one. Actually, speaking of badges, I don't think I equipped last round. Oh, it needs way more. Uh, I'll hang on to it. It's fine. Just checking, just checking. Well, there's no way back anyway. I just realized an alternate way to do this would be to... Because this gets just about as good speed. Yeah, see, that's better than Honest.
Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, that freaky voice is making that noise again. The ghost must be nearby. Alright. One last step. They would appear. See where I am. Ah, now this makes sense. I mean, I'm going to assume a wave hitting me is <laughs> not a good thing. Something's coming there, floating in the water. Yeah, my, wow, let me see. Oh, uh, guys, I can't breathe. Is that a boat? Hey, over here. Save us, please. What is that? Well, that was pointless. Are you kidding me? It's made out of paper. I can't breathe. Huge disappointment. What is that? Yeah, this is funny. They're going to be singing a different tune in a minute. Is this a pipe maze? This is a pipe maze, isn't it? close. Look, I don't think it's the immediate pipe. That is, does, doesn't feel right. I think it's this one. Oh, it's probably both, actually. Now that I see it. Uh, okay, I see. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. What do we do? I know you just dropped down. I'm an idiot. I see. We can cross over now. Hey, 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 what are we what are we waiting for? Let's go. Holy crap, how many of them are there? Is that oh, it's It's the happy couple. Oh crap. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, 
Our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean, and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you, Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me daddy had you come here to take us back. What? There's a crystal star in the pirate's treasure. Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us here on that raft, so smack him one for me. Frankie and I are just so in love anywhere, no matter how dank. Hey, put in pie. Call it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. Alright. Oh good, there's a heal point. Bah, whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path and I finally caught up with you and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I... I know I sure am, and so is Gret just... No red flags, no red flags, nothing to see over here. No red flags. I don't think you can make it across that gap. There's probably a better way to do this. Oh, you ignored my warning. Oh, come inside that door and be lost in darkness! Oh, come into my... Ugh, <laughs> enough, I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I am a pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Avla, speak. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo ho 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 Oh wow, that is one hectic looking boss. Well, we kind of have to. I feel like drawing around the boss is probably not going to get me anywhere. It's a huge boss. Alright, tattle on him. That's Cortez! He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. Max HP 20, attack 4, defense 1. His HP may seem low, but he's a spirit. Even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him. Sooner or later, he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some internal rest. Okay, well, let's just not... What is that? Okay, noted. Don't start throw stuff at me. Oh, 
I get the feeling it's going to involve Bobbery. Ooh, no. That's not good. I <laughs> just set one on myself. It didn't work. Uh oh. That's better. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Yeah, that could have gone better. Hot dog. timing oh nice wow that's awfully nice hammer oh come on wait how did that hit me if I was a ghost No, this is cool. This works. Oh, come on again. All right, now it's something new. Um... Let's burn pile again. Never mind. I was wrong. Okay, we need to keep. Need to keep you alive. Perfect. Ignore that defense. him anyway. Of course it's not over. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, there's no burn pile now. Is this gonna hurt? Yep, it's gonna hurt. Get wrecked. Ha 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 ha. Okay, now's the time. Because now it's just a small thing I need to draw around.
Not bad. Um, I hate to do it, but like, he doesn't jump, so... Honest gets the kill. Uh-oh. <laughs> he did nothing. Uh-oh. Ah, I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Oh. Oh, no. So I was never going to win that, huh? don't have an AOE attack anymore. Kinda works. Oh no, it hurts. I can't get near it. Kind of work. God. Yeah, this is not good. See, I feel like Vivian's gonna do direct contact. Who doesn't do direct contact? Mm, see, I have to. Get him on fire. I feel like a Shade Fist is, is gonna help. Just have to keep the attack up. Good. Good. Oh my god, I can't even use hammer against it. I have to just ignore it. And just go straight for the head. Oh, 
Uf. This is not good. Oof. Okay, Vivian's covered. Oh no, wait, don't have enough for Sweet Treat? I can't have him go down. Vivian will be fine, can't get attacked. Oh crap, I attacked the wrong thing. Keep attacking Vivian, please. aren't really gonna help. Yeah. Okay, that was extremely, extremely lucky. Holy crap. does get rid of the ice, but I don't care. Like, I, I need to attack it. God. Vivian. Oh no, oh, I hate it when it uh, targeted the wrong thing. Swap partner. Get her out of there. Um, we can help. Probably you. Hot dog. I hate how that thing gets in the way. It looks like it's targeting the face. If there's one saving grace here, it's that I can swap partners and still attack. Okay, pick the right eye thing. Cortez. Please let that be it. Okay, that's it. Oh my god, that was rough. Give him that. What just happened there? I am going to pick health. Health. No, my treasure! Huh? <laughs> I'm done for. Yo ho ho ho, a stupid or you are foolish indeed, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my espiritu endures, tied to my treasure. You cannot do anything to me, I do not live. Still guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. 
What? You're not even interested in my treasure. Oh. Then why are you here? Uh huh? En huh? serio? You want this? Oh, yeah. This little rock over here? Oh, are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. I'll take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. Sweet. Sweet feast. Okay. Sounds like it's another heal move. Quarters, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Bueno, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you. Month star, day, oh star. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. Sorry, Vivian. <laughs> See that? That makes up for that. All right, let's get that ship. Wow, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? <laughs> Yahoo! You beat Cortez. Wow, you really are something. Hey, if you've got time to be impressed by heroics, you've got time to think of a way out of here. Um, well that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape, but I guess that's not much help. What a breeze. How are we gonna fire- how are we gonna bust through solid rock? Though. Might want to move. Ha! It worked like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. I was expecting us to take the ship in the background. This damn cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. Where are we? Waku, direct hit. I, I feel bad. <laughs> I just, I didn't know I had to hit him. Oh, we ended up back here somehow. I need to get back to Ragport where my brother is waiting. Ah, Mario, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him? But you've left all the treasure there? Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Ah, oh, well... That's what I like about you, I guess. 
could it be? B brother? You, what are you doing here? Hi, I came looking for you, brother. All this way to this island, I came looking. But ghosts attacked us and our boat sank, but I've found you now. Ah, your boat sank too. So you're all stranded here as well? What? Hold on. Huh? What was that? Ah, what is that? Pardon me, guys. Bah, -ha, I mean, bah, 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 ha, ha, bah, ha, ha, ha. So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh, yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Boy, now, ain't that good old four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. <laughs> What's with this lukewarm reception? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll just spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Buh, 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 ha, ha, the Great Lord Crump. Oh, man, did I fool you? I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the crystal star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't? Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire! <laughs> ah, yikes. This Four Eyes was a pirate all the time. <laughs> Madness. Well, what are you standing around for? Cannons, people, we must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to, fa to sail. Wait. I have it. I'm a genius. We have a ship at hand. A fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? There's no way that'll work. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about, even if Mario did beat him. Why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you. Kareem you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit here and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Alright. This is gonna be good. We had a fight for some reason. Ooh. Oh, what? Is it you again? Did you forget something? <laughs> Cortez, I, I, I have to speak with you. Could, could, could you please lend me your ship? Sh 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 what? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? My, 
My name is Flavio. We are in big trouble, and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruisers. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magica, and I cannot lend it to you. To move, I cannot. We cannot move you. Magica, hang on, magica. And it cannot move now. I don't know. The key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. The skull gem. You, you mean this? You, you have the skull gem? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I, I do. So, all right. What do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that's a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. <laughs> Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? Arr, you rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Hmm. Bueno, de igual. Take, fine, take it. I accept your bargain. Now be very careful with that gem. Ha! Check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now you, take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seals again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my b b bones and wreak havoc on, havoc on the seas like the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all. But for now, we sail. It would contradict everything for me to, like, find a star piece here and just take it. <laughs> I did not want your treasure, except this one. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take them on. Come on. All for one, guys. Oi, I ain't letting old Flavio fancy pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Sash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. <laughs> bah, 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 ha, ha. I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, bassa, boom? <laughs> You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. What the? I wish we could control the ship and just... <laughs> well, maybe we will. Come up and... Come up and... 
Grr, I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. <laughs> Holy crap. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. Comedy fight. Oh, this is fine. Buh, 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 ha, ha. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Buh, ha, enjoy. Yeah, uh, uh, about that. Um, I am not wasting time. I don't know why I was ignoring the other guys. Oh, they're gone. Oh, no. Okay, that one failed. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Perfectly planned. I planned it. Yeah. Planned. Oh, wait, I should tattle. Ha ha ha! You're not gonna get off that easily, losers! Let's see how you like this! x knots. That's an Exynos platoon. Crump commands them all. Where'd they come from anyway? Their max HP depends on their condition, but attack is five and defense is zero. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. But they're pretty wimpy, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? Oh wow, the explosions actually reach the ceiling. That is legit. That's Lord Crump. Ugh, not this guy again. Max HP 30, attack 3, defense 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry about him much. Those x knots around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump! Oh. Let's just ignore that defense. Now, I've thought of one possibility, but I don't want to say it. You know, th this dude has the body of a certain character that I uh, recognize. But I don't think it's him. <laughs> Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, sea urchins. I'm down, but not. no way am I out. What are they doing? Okay, ow. Yeah. I'm 
just going to focus on him. I don't know where that landed, but I'm going to hope it's correct. So either way he does that. Okay, nice. Oh, he's just going to recover them. No, playtime is over. I'm not failing this anymore. Like, I've got in the hang of this move. Um. No, there's a, there's a way to end this now. Vivian, you're up. Actually, no. Honest, maybe? Hang on. Can Honest attack? You can. Okay, go. Do it. Nice. Man, he's getting on. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, we whipped them. That loser won't get in our face for a while, for sure. I feel like that's how the chapter should have ended, but it's okay. Meanwhile... <laughs> you blew it again, Lord Crump, you sickened me! Look, I'm sorry, seriously, we thought we, we, thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. And you're dismissed. Hey, you there! What is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disc. A data disc? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, 
I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permits no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first, leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Okay. I guess he's gonna talk through speakers. Maybe gave me a Bluetooth headset. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lit lamp above it. I hope this is what he means. Okay. Now, I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. It is the machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by x researchers. Please use them as references and set the potion in the machine. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Okay, so the green potion and the red potion are the outer ones. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Alright, so that's easy. Now, it's just um, it's a matter of figuring it out. No, the yellow... Place the yellow potion between the blue potion and the green potion. So then, the process of elimination is just this. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Yes. Very well. Please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Wait! Oh no, I hate this already. I'm just gonna go to the end. Okay. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after heating starts to stop the machine. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. Hang on, I'm getting my phone out. Unless there's a frame of reference. Hang on. Okay.
I'm watching a stopwatch. There's no way it's going to be that strict. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Yeah. Very good. And please drink it, all of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make that dress invisible as well. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait. I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. But she's naked. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. Once you are finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. Naked. Uh huh? Okay, that was creepy. Why do the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction or am I just totally losing it here? Nobody here but us naked people. Must be Sir Gratis's room. Now where is that disc? Not here. Oh wow, it's a Famicom disc drive. That's cool. Found it! This must be it. Please insert that disk into the computer in this room and connect to the network. All right. <laughs> it even makes the sound, that's cool. I did it, yes, I did it, it's working. That's really cool. Um, looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where, where I got it. Eh, like I was never here. I'm sure, it's not this straightforward. I thought there was going to be like an awkward part where Grotus enters the room and also gets naked. Are you completely invisible though if you cast a shadow? Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion, you will revert to normal instantaneously. 
Okay. Okay. Just hang on one minute. Close. Close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just walked to the potion. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? It would have been fun if it made a joke. Like, just like, hang on, I need to get dressed first. What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my predictions are correct... If it is correct... What? No. I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please, use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you tell me when you decipher that data, okay? Good. I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Meanwhile... What is this place? Why is the light? It's so weird here. It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of those creepy things and find the crystal star. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Oh, cool. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Boundum said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Bam! Got it. I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Ba, 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 ha, ha, ha. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Bah, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for some crystal stars too? Sweet. This'll help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Well there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, ha, ha, ha. If you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. All troops, report. Ba, 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 ha, ha. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Man, you dare scoff at us? Keep a clan, form up! Whoa, well played! Man, so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Buh -huh. Oh, I gotta laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dots. Super bomb. 
incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. You... You have distinguished yourself in battle. Excelente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think we can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my kind regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. The right place to live without any ghosts, eh? They're gonna do alright here, I think. Yeah, let's break out, Gonzalez. Preparados, amigos? Cast off! This was pretty lengthy for a chapter. Month, star, day, uh, oh, love heart. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Ah. The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogueport. And soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes. Even now, I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Signed, Flavio. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, eh? Huh? But of course, you know all that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now please excuse us, perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey! Where are- uh, You're leaving already? Huh. That was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? One day, you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should- how you say, shoot for the stars, eh? If ever... Un momento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Killhole Key, just say the word, see? I will send you to the Isla farther than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. 
Um. <clears throat> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, eh? Okay, Gonzalez, that's our cue. Let's break out of here and head for the door. I can actually see him running around. Alright, let's head for the door. God damn it. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jezefra's town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Who? It was pretty dramatic, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. More Luigi voice. Bad Luigi voice. Okay. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jezefra's town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part. You know. But Hazy said we could win the campus part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama plaque might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try. So we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hoarse, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town. And we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of my fans. My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the marvelous compass which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimbal Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh my cherished Princess Eclair. How you soothe me. I wish I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway. Then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rawport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Wanna hear about something else? No. <laughs> I can't do the voice anymore. If you wanna... Oh, yes, my name is Luigi. Okay. Gonzalez, that's you, bud. That's gotta be an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Rock on, that princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we ought to get to work too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> those ones, I don't know, the, 
the emails on is interesting. I mean, it's because I haven't come in here in a while. Like, it's missing five as well. That's Spook Town. I mean, we're getting there. I think we can wrap this up this weekend. Magic Cooper. It seems like the enemies in the sewers are, uh... Oh, they are... They are strong now. I mean, it's only fitting. The friend of the chapter. What is this? In the town? I guess in the town nearby. Going by train. Right. Let's pop in on that, Professor Fellow. Oh, yeah. Great news, my friends. Now we know the next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a tick. I've heard tell that only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes, and I believe Poshley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next Crystal Star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it. Fairly certain. Uh, mostly certain. But hey! No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. Um, sounds positively scintillating, dear boy. Point us there. That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine for excursion, your n the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been back-breaking work, but this time it'll be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but you mustn't... But mustn't you have a treasury full of riches to ride that train? Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this too. Oh uh, no. Terribly sorry. Hmm, impossible. Can't do it. The man's reprehensible. Well, drat. I suppose there's nothing for it, eh, old boy? If we must, we must. Let's go. Admittedly, the voice I chose for the bomb is bad. It should be more, uh, like, fancy. Oh, it's, like, just, you know, fake British. Um, excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time until that demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. Are you Mario? Did this email, did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out. So if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captures, friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks. So here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Staple. Of course, knowing you, you've probably found it all. <laughs> I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not so useless adventure. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a potent, potentious sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. 
in the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figured out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. He's now telling me the location of the shines. Which, you know, there's a couple that I remember. Anyway. Yeah, the th I mean, I kind of have... I kind of have a stockpile of them, so you know. I don't think I need to stress, but there's probably a bigger reason to collect them all, I'm sure. I probably should have done this before uh, doing this chapter, but it's okay. I actually have no one left to power up. Well, yeah, there's a bunch of bob spots. There's just things I can do with uh, that skill. But for now, this is a good stopping point, so we're going to leave it here. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this chapter of Paper Mario. If you're watching this later on YouTube as well, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. hope you enjoy it as well. If you do want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things if you want by clicking those videos at the end or just typing a look around the channel. That stuff helps out a lot, so thanks to those that do that. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, we'll uh, continue this next time.